But I really think I should come out here and camp at night. I think it'll be a whole different experience at nighttime. Is that looks like it was moving there for a minute wish I had a camera that could zoom in better hey y'all Welcome to Lisa's Escapades. I'm back out here in the same area where I was followed I, out of here, I think, by something. And um, I'm thinking about doing an overnight camping trip in this area by myself. So let me know what you think about that. Um, I appreciate all the new followers. And let's go see what we see. So you can see something's walking straight through here. But I'm going to try to keep this video on as long as I can. And hopefully I won't run out of space on my phone. I'm trying to get stuff off of here so I don't have to worry about that. But you can see it's still flooded out here. I'm still kind of close to the highway, so I'm still walking. Let's see if we hear or see anything out here today. If you guys see anything in the video, let me know. So far, it's pretty quiet. definitely kind of spooky out here. This would be a great place to do a night investigation though. There's a campground, a primitive campground out here I could stay at by myself. And who knows what I might hear out there at night. Maybe I could get one of my friends to come out there with me, I don't know.
You can definitely see a lot of big game trail back in here. And there's a lot of deer in this area. And hunting season's getting ready to start in about a week or two. Mosquitoes are pretty, getting pretty bad. I just had to turn on my thermocell. Ooh. What the heck is that? I don't know if you can see that. For some reason when I come here, I always feel like something over here is watching me. I don't know why. I just heard something over that way. Possibly a branch fell. Yeah, that campground is pretty far back. Doesn't seem to be much going on out here today, but you never know. It's definitely the swamp. It's funny, I don't see that dark figure out there I saw last time I was here, but it's hard to find the exact spot again, you know, unless you mark it. But the more I looked at that dark spot, it looked like something sitting there looking at me. And then it turned away and looked forward because you could see a profile of a nose. But it was so far away, it's hard to say if it was actually anything or not. So... There's the big oak tree. <laughs> 
This is the area I heard the thump and then the dog started barking. I don't see where the grass is mashed down now. You know, I was thinking too, that thunk could have been wild boar because there's a lot of wild boar messing around out here. And they do make a thump when they stomp. So it could have been that as well. Okay, so my phone died. So we're on the GoPro now. So we'll see if we capture anything. I just saw a what do you call it? A hawk. And of course, I couldn't get my camera on in time. I always like to put the camera behind me because you never know. If something peeks out, then there you are. You got it. So I just left the recorder behind, see if anything shows up on that. Looks like another trail going through there. That branch is no longer in the road, but somebody could have moved it. Somebody might have been camping back here and drove through. This would be a good spot too in the winter time to just bring a chair out here and sit and listen. When the bugs aren't so bad. I mean, just look at this, it's vast. Looks like something back in there too. You just never know what's out here. But I really think I should come out here and camp at night. I think it'll be a whole different experience at nighttime. Well, I'm not going to bore you with me walking. I'm going to come back on here if I hear or see anything. I'm going to try to get it on film so you can hear and see what I'm seeing and hearing. Seems like there's always airplanes too when I come out here. I think there is a small airport not too far away, so that could be the reason, but you can see them up there. It's a small plane. It 
It's like a bush plane. I mean, if you think about it, there could be anything hiding right out here. I just heard movement over there a little bit. You could barely hear it. I don't know if the camera would have picked it up or not. like an open area of swamp. There's a tiny foot here. Must be another woman that was out here, or a child. Heard something just then. There's those edible beauty berries. The deers like them. I just heard something over here. Oh crap. What is that? Things start looking a lot spookier than they really are out here when you're alone. But I heard something over here step on something. I don't see anything though. Come on deer, show yourself. Let's hope you're a deer. Maybe I'll come back out here and camp alone. And there's another area that I've camped alone before and did a night hike. And I got all kind of hoot owl or owl, I don't know if they were hoot owls, but owls in the night, which was really cool. Everything out here, you can hear it for a, while, a ways. You can see something dark poking out of the grass way out there. I've seen other people's pictures where they had the head just poke up and look and then poke back down real quick. Well, y'all, it's a hot one out here. I'm gonna head back and maybe we'll get some action on the way back. I don't know. But I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about me camping out here at night alone. That looks like a possible coyote right there. Have you ever watched that uh, show, These Woods Are Haunted? Sometimes I feel that way about these woods. These woods have a lot of history, starting back with the Indians. But, you know, a lot of old settlers used to live out here, but they're long gone, and so is their properties, a lot of them. 
But sometimes I wonder if these woods are haunted. Okay, I'm smelling something nasty again. It's like I'm hearing drums again. They're very faint and way off in the distance. I'm gonna have to get me a microphone so y'all can hear it better. I swear it feels like something's watching me. Mm -hmm. 